Today is Tuesday, December 20th, 2016. This is a case study of an actual cat, male, neutered, 13 years old, domestic short hair cat, which came in on October 1st, 2016, which is about nearly two and a half months ago. We're having seizures six times. So, because of that, they quickly bring the dog to Topaya Vets. And uh, so, the inquiry on the signs were very hungry, very thirsty, pass a lot of urine, and uh, weight loss. The one the owner is not very sure, but uh, the cat was weighing 4.8 kg. So, we do a blood test as uh, seizures could be due to hypoglycemia and uh, so the, this is the blood test results now the significant results will be high cholesterol high triglycerides so this is one test results abnormal then further down the important one is this one the glucose now glucose was found to be 26.9 millimole per litre whereas a normal is 30, uh, 3.9 to 6 so if we trans translate to the equivalent of 40, 485 milligram per dl whereas any, any diabetes will be over 200 milligram per dl so this cat has hyperglycemia on arrival and the blood test shows that the liver definitely liver disorder probably the fatty liver and there is also a higher calcium blood calcium and the kidney disease is there you can see the urea is high and uh, the creatinine level is high so there is kidney disease the kidney disease Retinine level is high. Then uh, the hemo hemo hematology normally is normal, but in this case the platelet is a bit low. So there was no serial blood glucose curve done for reasons of uh, cost. Now the, the cat was recommended to be given Vaseline. 0.03 units two times per day then uh, so this is Vaseline and the owner did give and they are supposed to observe the clinical signs like appetite hunger thirst, thirst and uh, urination to, to, to assess whether it's effective or not Given, giving uh, Vaseline twice a day at 0.02 ML. So the owner did her own injection under the skin in between the spinous from the shoulder to the hip area and also the diet. So feed the cat exclusively on WD plus the canned food twice a day. So, much depends on the owner's uh, need to be serious because uh, many owners are very busy working. So, they, uh, if they don't control it well, then uh, there will be another repeat episode of hyperglycemia. So, I spoke to the owner and uh, today, apparently she had increased the dose to 0 0.05 two times a day there were no seizures but the cat according to her was more active argue back or playful but still eats a lot drinks a lot although although uh, there was less than before the treatment so I advised her to be serious and uh, to do the home monitoring recording now it's not practical to do the urine test for urine glucose or ketones 
or SG, but at least she can monitor the food intake, the water consumption or water drunk, and of course urination. Going to the PP uh, pen, and of course weighing the cat every week. Now, if she does a good job of monitoring, there will come a time when she will find that 0 0.05 or two times a day might not be sufficient. So, let's say after two weeks, then she increase a bit 10% and so on and so forth until one day she finds that the cat is eating normally and drinking normally. That's when the clinical sign shows that the diabetes is controlled. So the food will have to be high fiber ones and no more treats or other drugs or stress onto this cat. This is a 13 year old cat and, uh, and uh, it's got diabetes on it at this age. Usually male neuter cats. Now, according to some literature, sometimes after a period of treatment, there is no need to give any more injections for cats because they they get remission. So let's see how this cat fares in the months to come. So for the meantime, owner has to keep proper records, but she is very busy working. So she didn't really uh, keep keep a proper record of the intake of food, in water consumption, and uh, of course the the peeing and also the weight gain or weight loss. So if she does this properly, she will know exactly whether the injection of vaseline is effective or not. The, the, the ideal amount here yeah, which she give twice a day and uh, it's already two and a half months so we will have to continue educating the owner as uh, they may not be aware of the need to do careful home monitoring of the cat with diabetes mellitus December 20th 2016 Bio vets, a case study of a male neutered cat 13 years old with diabetes presenting signs of seizures six times before coming to Topayo vets in October 2, 2016. Now it's December 20th, 2016.